finally, on like August 21st or so, I finally have my first dumb jar of pickled beans. I am usually way ahead of schedule, but uh, I was a lot further along last year, so uh, beans aren't coming in. But enough about the beans. What we're doing today is a plum liqueur attempt. Just got back from Wisconsin and I noticed that some of my beans were coming in and some of these little yellow guys and this yellow guy too. It's like a packer tomato. Anyway, I have had these plums in my freezer for a, a while. As you can see, they're from a friend's garden. They're, I don't know if you can see, but they're a little shriveled. No jokes, please. Um, but what I'm thinking is, I should still get color for sure, right? Uh, and also some flavor, I think, from the skins, and hopefully there's still some fruit inside, some fruit meat. So I'm uh, gonna cut them in half, take out the stones, and then put them in the jug. I was going to mention I had 30 of these plums, which were not huge, maybe not tiny, and also I said in my freezer for a while, but now I'm just going to get those in this uh, one gallon jug and we'll add the Everclear 190 proof. I always try to use 190 proof stuff for this. If you can't get that, you can probably use vodka and we'll get a final shot after this stuff is all together. Oh, hello Beth. Hello. Welcome to the video. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're just wrapping this up. I got the plums in there as promised. Here goes the Everclear. Uh, let's see here. I mean, there's really not a lot to see here, folks, but we just got to get this stuff in there. And then I'll probably cover it with saran wrap and see how long we let it go. I... What was I going to say? Last time I did this recently, I only let it go a little over two weeks because I was having a free day and I wanted to just get it done. But I don't have any rush on this, so I'm also curious to see how the color changed, but as you can, or might change. But as you can see, it's just clear right now. Okay, it's been a month for these plums. So what I've done is I put them in here and then I squeezed them half by half and there was 30 to begin with so 60 halves now what I'm going to do is pour this the collected spirits plus I have to assume some plum juice now maybe not a lot this is a quart which is close to a liter but what I'm going to do is see if it's how much I get. And if I, what I want to end it with is around two quarts or two liters. So the point is, is I would make up maybe a little less of the sugar water solution. So this is my one quart line. And a liter is a couple ounces more than a quart. So really, I did not get a lot of juice from the plums. And they weren't that juicy I mean they're sort of firm and so that is that but a little bit now I normally do four cups of water which is close to a liter and three cups of sugar I will probably still do the three cups of sugar but I will just uh, it won't quite be maybe four cups of water but it'll be close and then we'll mix it all together in here and get it bottled. This is what we have. Two liters and another little extra which is fine. So we will give it a couple of days. I'll put one in the freezer and then we'll do a tasting and see what we think. So here we go. We're doing the official taste. Now it looks uh, quite a bit lighter in this glass. I hate to interrupt your messaging. No, I'm just texting Alex. Um, 
In the bottle, you saw the shot that was light. Not, what color is a plum? Blue? Yeah. Purple? Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, this is what it tastes like. I don't really have any aroma. I agree. Unlike the limoncello, mm -hmm. the raspberry, things of that nature. Yeah, um, it's yummy and slightly fruity, but when you take a bite out of these plums, you get this delicious fruity plum flavor. Mm. You get the a sugary, mm -hmm. ripe fruit flavor. And I guess there's a very subtle hint of it in here, but it's very much diluted. So that's exactly what I have thought and what I concluded with this one is I either need double the plums mm -hmm. or more, which I use 30 of these little ones, so you need quite a bit more, or you just don't do it. You just make something else with the plums and save this type of thing for something that's more assertive. That is my takeaway with this is Lemon peel, grapefruit peel, lime peel, orange peel. Done all those. You get the quality and the character of those peels. Raspberry is a pretty strong little fruit. Strong, assertive flavor. And that works out very well. A plum is a nice flavor, but it's a softer flavor. Like, for example, this one work with a, I don't know, a banana. Or, you know, something like that. Like, this type of thing wouldn't work well so i mean you could do like a plum lemon thing but then you're not going to get you know much of the plum so can you do this sure do you get a lot of plum flavor with the 30 plums not a lot it's mostly it's like a little bit of plum but also just oh yeah there's a lot of alcohol and a lot of sugar water well and maybe it's so when i took a bite of those plums i thought this is very similar in size and shape to one of Shannon's cherries. I mean, I feel like mm. her cherries are just a little bit smaller than that. And yeah, I don't, I mean, a you cherry mentioned. cherry one. Well, you mentioned hmm. how the New Galeris people who make the cherry lambic or Belgian whatever red. Is, yeah, um, have to use tons and tons yeah. of these cherries, so. Well, they also, in that type of beer, and any fruit beer, you use a lot of fruit per pound, and you would use a lot. Of, I made a plum mead, and I used a lot of plums, and I got some plum flavor in the mead, mm -hmm. but maybe I used enough of them. So, anyway, this worked. Um, I might end up just putting it in mixed drinks, just adding it to some seltzer water, maybe something else, and because it already has the alcohol, and it has a little bit of flavor, and it already has some sweetness. Mm -hmm. So uh, I might just do that instead of drinking it sort of on ice. But uh, anyway, it was fun to try. Thanks for tasting. And uh, we'll get to the upcoming video. We'll feature this beer, which is a Saison. Oh, that was, what's the word? Commanded? Commissioned? Mm. Requested? By Beth. So we have Beth's Simple Saison coming to a video near you. Catch you later.